Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, the last time I filmed, I think it was in May, so pretty much I was gone all summer. But it's been a little hectic with work and yeah, so, um, but anyways, we're back and I have something super exciting. Now, as you guys know, I am engaged. I got engaged last November 2020, so it's time to do some wedding planning, which is super fun but stressful. Um, now I don't have a wedding planner, so I am myself my own wedding planner. Now I know that sounds a little crazy, but I do have a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of experience along with my family. Um, now we have done my own sweet 16, um, I mean 18th. Um, my sister's sweet 16, my cousin's uh, sweet 18 as well. So um, I, we help out with a couple of friends' wedding, with my aunt's wedding. Um, so we do have a little bit of experience. So we figured, you know, use that money on that we're gonna use for the wedding planner, you know, to splurge on some stuff. Um, and in this case, um, I did. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys along my wedding journey um revealing to the big day um, with that being said today is the start of my wedding series now if you guys are are you know if you are engaged or in the middle of planning your own wedding as well i hope this is very helpful for you now i've done wedding dress shopping uh to four locations um i have my fifth one very soon um so i'm also filming and i will be editing that video soon so you guys can see um but for today we have a bridesmaids proposal i'm going to show you guys what i got for my girls um and also show you what i got for my fiance's groomsman um, now he wasn't thinking of doing something super extra like I am with the girls, but you know, we are girls. We love taking pictures, you know, do everything pretty and you know, it's the little, it's the details that count. So for me, that's very important. I wanted to do something like that for him. I mean, I was going to plan it, but he says he's not with it, with it. So I'm like, okay, but I'll show you guys a little something that I did, um, encourage and you know, for him to do, which he did comply. I would like to say um, I'm going to reveal the colors of my wedding day, I guess you can say. So um, to start, right? I don't even know where to start. There's like so much to say. Okay, so I have a cousin who does um, the, what do, you, what do you call that? The uh, cir circa cricket? or what is it called um but anyway she does these amazing things she's super nice in helping me out with all of that um now i like i said it's in the little details so um, i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got from what store so to start i did get these um boxes i don't know if you can see hopefully there you go okay so this one is will you be my maid of honor so she picked out the font and um they're pretty much I bought these in Amazon. Sorry about that. I'm gonna silence it right now. Okay. So I got these boxes in Amazon. I think they're like 20 boxes for like 13 bucks, 15 bucks. So very inexpensive. Um, you don't need a fancy box, you know, you could just make it a fancy box and i'll show you how so i got these from amazon like i said they are they come foldable so obviously i gotta fix them um but i will show you guys on how i'm gonna fix them so this is it and i will have eight girls in total that's super cute and so those those are the boxes and she also made some tags um that i'm gonna use on top so that each person i'm also going to vlog the day of the bridesmaid proposal so you guys can see and you guys can um just get a feel of everything and you know come with me on my journey that i would love to share with you guys so like i was saying she did these little tags with names also got these from amazon they literally come in like um black white and um this color which is like carton color <laughs> carton color if that makes sense <laughs> carton color so um and you know just brown um they do come in like a hundred i think for like five bucks so very inexpensive again amazon 
Um, and so what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to use this bow to wrap the names with around the box. You guys will see and I will show you, but it's going to be super cute. Um, I already did it for my flower girl, but this time I'm going to use brown. So initially I had already ordered and I already gave one of my box one of the boxes to one of my bridesmaids because she is actually in the military so she won't be here the day of the bridesmaid proposal um, I'm gonna do a brunch for them and something super special but unfortunately she's not gonna be here and so um, she was only able to come to New York one day so it was the day of but I did order this one before and you can see it's more of a pink like a soft pink and um yeah, that's not what I was going for. I mean, it's not bad. It's still pretty. But I just kind of wanted to be more of a color scheme, you know. So I ordered a brown. And these ribbons for like, were like for like seven, eight bucks on Amazon as well. So very inexpensive. And now I'm going to fill them up with some of this crinkled paper, shredded paper in the color ivory. There's a billion colors in there, so you know, you choose whatever color you want to choose. Um, and so these, I think this was two pounds, one pound, one pound. They go by pound, so this is one pound. Obviously, I already used half of it, uh, and I realized that I might not have enough for the other boxes, so I ordered another one from Amazon. One pound, ivory color. Things the uh, and these were like 13 15 bucks, so very inexpensive, you know, very inexpensive. So that's that. Now, what I'm gonna put in the box is I'm gonna add a tiny bottle, I got this at my local liquor store. Can you see the brand? So, a little champagne bottle. I want it to do Moet, but that's a little expensive, and you know. I'm splurging on some things and saving on other things. It's a balance, you guys. It's a balance. And, you know, this is cute. This is perfect. And it goes with the color, too, because it's, like, more of a champagne, ivory, nude type of color. So this is perfect. Um, now, I got, there. it's going to be one of each. And then also, like I was saying, my cousin, she's amazing. Her name is Fanny, and she has an Instagram, which I will down below in the description box so you guys can follow her work she is amazing she um so i ordered these robes because i wanted you know everyone to have the robe the same color same style the day of the wedding so you know when we're getting ready so um i got these at etsy for like 19 bucks now i think they were a little expensive but it's okay cousin offered to do the writing on the back let's call it calligraphy because i don't i forgot what to call it to be honest but anyways yeah so she added the bridesmaids and each and every one of the robes and so you know it's very cute personal touch so i'm gonna fold that so i got these uh diamond pens because i ordered some for myself for my own wedding planning notebook um and so i figured you know these are cute like and they work so beautifully so i got one of these um pens to go along with the box um they come in amazon as well they come i think for like 10 bucks for like eight pence and it says ride tribe on it with a little diamond isn't that cute like just the cutest i wish they were in gold because you know rose gold kind of gives it a different vibe and then everything's like ivory, champagne, gold, but you know, it is what it is. They did have a gold option, but it didn't have bride tribe in it. I mean, not that it matters, but I just, I just feel like it just, you know, it's the details. It's the details, you guys. So whatever, it's cute. Rose gold still goes along with the theme and everything. So, and it also comes with one pen for myself, which is white and it says bride, which is super cute. I decided to also add something super cute and I ordered from Sugarfina. Now, if you guys hear some noise, it's upstairs. My mom is up there doing some stuff and you can hear literally everything in this house. It's annoying, but it is what it is. So I apologize for that in advance. And I got these cute little gummy bears. They, so, they smell so good, like honestly. So I got peach tea tree bears and they go along with the theme. I wanted to do the rose, the rose, I mean, 
because you know rose who doesn't love rose but they were pink and i mean it would have not been a big difference but i feel like it is i don't know i just feel like everything has to be monochromatic so i could just give it a nice cute vibe but anyways this is it they smell so cute and they, they were they were delivered um wow well, very carefully they had like ice packs upon ice packs and just wow well, the delivery was outstanding but yeah they come in a pack of three so i got obviously eight actually no i got ten one for myself because i wanted to try them um and another one for my mom because i'm gonna give her a box you guys will see what i will put in that box i can't say i can't disclose that information just yet because i'm still brainstorming that idea but for today's bridesmaids this is what they're getting um so you know cute stuff for them so now in terms of decorating for um oh actually let me just show you guys what i got for him to give um his guys i didn't really want to do like a box or anything like that because he's not really into that um i did tell him to record his groomsmen proposal or their reaction um yeah i don't guarantee he's gonna do it although i'm hoping he does but we'll see we'll see if he does decide to give his impression on it um regarding his guys then i will put it along with my bridesmaid proposal video vlog but if not then it's cool so i did get him these cards right it says this definitely could have been a text but she made me get you a card will you be my groomsman isn't that cute and funny like at the same time you got to be a little bit funny because you know he's not gonna do it he's not gonna actually do it and these were like six bucks i think and so i also told him right because he didn't want to do a box so i said why don't you give them a wine bottle because you know who doesn't love wine so these are the stickers that he's gonna put on the bottle i just thought you know why not it's cute although i do know it's like double the question but first i told him give them the card right open them first they're gonna open them first see it and then obviously you're gonna wrap up the wine bottle in like nice cute tissue paper or like some tool or like some type of fabric but i think he just got a paper bag which is also really cute and i'll show you guys how he did it i'm so proud of him but um yeah so he put up he's gonna put the sticker on the bottle and you know it's cute because it has a little bow tie so that's cute and it comes um a best man two cards for best man um and the rest groomsman and also you get a ring bear which i don't know why but that's that but yeah these were in total maybe 16 bucks so very inexpensive and if your guy wants to do something but not be super extra like us ladies um this is a way to do it in a very minimal you know classy way i guess you can say so yeah that is that and so i want to show you guys what i got in terms of decorating how i'm going to decorate this table and so i got this yes it's this so it's this like cheesecloth um runner table runner um i like the texture of it um so i got this from etsy um i don't know what happened to me i ordered it and it was too short it was this is like eight feet and me thinking it's gonna be super long and it's not so i was really upset because i literally paid like 20 bucks for it 22 bucks for it plus shipping because you know etsy shipping and so i end up paying like close to 30 bucks for it um so this was a really bad purchase and so um i mean it's nice the color's pretty it's nice but i think i messed up on the feet and so yeah that was very disappointing but anyway so yeah i'm still gonna use it you guys will see how because i'm not gonna just not use it so i decided to order from amazon i'm like okay i need a bigger one a longer table runner but i'm not gonna spend on shipping again you know shipping kills you so um i checked on amazon and gladly enough they did have almost the same material cheesecloth i mean honestly i feel like 
No, they're pretty much the same thing. I felt one was softer than the other, but it's the same thing. So I got it and they did not have the, the same color, which is more of a brown tan color, uh, but they did have an ivory. So I'm like, okay, I can just, you know, interwine them and give it a look. You know, I mean, it is the same color scheme. So as long as it's in the same color scheme, we are good to go, right? So this is longer, bigger. So um, you guys will see how I will do it. Um, so I got that. Um, I also got these Miss to Mrs. napkin. And it's cute. It has gold foil Miss to Mrs. It's really cute. I also got these candles, these taper candles, or is it tapper? I don't know. Anyway, so I got these candles from Target. Um, they're beeswax blend. They're beeswax, uh, beeswax. Beeswax blend. Hmm, try saying that three times. Beeswax blend, please, black blend, please. Beeswax blend, please, black blend. Beeswax blend, candles um, in the same color um, tan. There were like three bucks, I think. So, very expensive. I also got eight placemats. Same color from Home Goods, and these were eight bucks, guys. So, this is it. And I got this cute banner from Amazon that says, what does it say? Miss to Mrs. I think. I ordered it in rose gold and later on I figured why didn't I order it in gold, but it's okay. We can manage it, you guys. You guys will see it's going to be a whole vibe. So what else am I missing? Oh yes, so I did get some seat covers because you guys know I'm going to do it in the yard. Um, and so, you know, sometimes those foldable chairs tend to be not very pretty and they're just bleh. So I figured why not get some seat covers for them? So I did get some seat covers. They were 20, no, 10 seat covers for 20 bucks on Amazon. So I got the color ivory. They came in super pretty, but I figured, you know what? They look a little plain. So why not be extra and add a little bow to them? So I got this bow for, again, um, 50 yards for um, two inch white ribbon um it's more of an organza type i think you would say yeah an organza type of ribbon um you know just tie it around you guys will see you guys will see it's gonna be a whole vibe okay so anyway well that was it you guys thank you so much for watching and now stay tuned for the vlog i have prepared for my ladies and so i am so excited you guys are coming along this journey with me um please give me your ideas um and your comments i am very happy to read them and please like and subscribe if you like this video thank you so much all right so i am preparing the boxes for my ladies um, I have a total of seven. Like I said, I gave one out to uh, the other girl the other day. And I forgot to show you guys, but this is for my sister. She is going to be my maid of honor. And so I wanted to get her something a little bit more special and a little bit more significant. She does have um, brown, blondish hair, so that's her. Um, and I'm the bride with black hair, and so it's so cute. I got it from Etsy. I think it was like for 22 bucks, um, but you get to personalize it. You add the names, uh, you choose the robe color, you even get to choose what you want the bride to hold. In this case, I love the Veuve Clicquot. I am super pronouncing it wrong. But anyways, that's my favorite champagne, as you guys can see here. It is my favorite champagne. Oh, and my little broken statue here, I tried to glue anyways um but yeah so that is my favorite bottle so i'm holding that and she's holding a glass of champagne so yeah so this is what it is and i have a big mess as you can see so um obviously i'm trying to do this properly but i'm trying to do this while i record all right let me get let me do hers first so i'll do that and Oh, so her robe did not come in not in time so I'm just gonna like add a lot of like shredded paper um, hers did not come in time because she actually wanted a different kind of robe um, and so it she took a little longer to order and yeah it's coming from Ukraine so obviously it's gonna take a while 
we have the box here ready. Do you need me for something else? No, I don't need you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, so it is very sunny. So I hope you guys can get a feel of what it looks like. This is the whole setup. little setup like I said I got these seat covers from Amazon along with the ribbon the utensils are from home goods placemats are from home goods miss to missus napkins also from home goods but I'm sure you can find them in Amazon some feathers I think my cousin got them in Amazon but she lent them to me for the day I got these vases from H&M and these are from Home Goods. These are from IKEA. And just Yeah, that's it guys. We have my dad doing home fries. <laughs> my dad. Then we have, it's going to be a brunch, so we have syrup, raspberry jam, uh, peach mango spread, this is for the omelets, okay we have some fruit, delicious fruit here, we have mango juice, guava juice, orange juice, passion fruit juice and wait I got confused so it's guava passion fruit orange juice and mango juice we have fruit here we have some waffles we have our ghetto umbrella for shade my dad working Just for you guys. <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> you guys can take a seat. All right. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Yes. Wait, where do you want us to sit? Anywhere. You guys can anywhere. sit anywhere. Yeah, organize us the way. Yeah. Where do you want um, to sit in the middle? I'll sit in the middle. Yeah. And then you guys can sit around anywhere. Where do you want to sit? Alright. <laughs> Not let's go. <laughs> you said that's funny. funny. I know. I was like, wait. <laughs> wait I need to put okay. Alright. We have Fanny, Angie, Jocelyn, and Crystal. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I just run it? 